Hello, I'm Donovan Brutus, and I'm going to talk a little bit about making art with purpose. I'm a black slash Haitian American animator and illustrator visiting Kenya. I was born in Arkansas, I went to college in Florida, and lived in San Francisco for the past six years. Currently, I live nomadically. Uh, here's a demo reel of my favorite animations I've done over the past 15 years of my career. Uh, since each slide is supposed to be about 20 seconds, I sped it up times four. If you want to see the uh, normal speed, feel free to go to my website. So here are some of my uh, recent illustration pieces from larger series. I'm generally inspired by mindfulness, nature, and black excellence, among other things. So this is my art process. Um, each piece starts with a drawing in my sketchbook or on my computer. Uh, then I take a picture of it with my phone, put it into Adobe Illustrator, and uh, find the geometric forms that I like. Then I redraw it, and then I go through various color choices, and then add lighting. Here are some of my career highlights. Um, as a next step, I really wanted to focus on personal projects to align more with my uh, purpose, so I applied for a ton of our residencies. I actually also applied to be an astronaut because, you know, why not? Uh, I was accepted into five residencies on four different continents, and this talk is coming to you live from the first one. How exciting. Uh, this led me to blow up my life three months ago by quitting my job, breaking my lease, and throwing all my belongings into storage. I took a train across the United States, uh, from San Francisco to LA to Houston, New Orleans to Washington DC, and to New York. Uh, then I flew to Cairo, and then here to Nairobi. Uh, hopefully some other places later. Okay, so how do you find your purpose? So it's debatable whether or not we're here for a reason, but regardless of your beliefs, there's value in either discovering your purpose or creating one for yourself. This is why I think one of the best uses of anyone's time is to Google this question. How do I find my life's purpose? I first began researching this in 2010, and it changed the trajectory of my life. Um, something important to understand is that your purpose will slightly change over time, just as you do. Uh, mine could change tomorrow, honestly. So you have to be flexible and gentle with yourself. Find something that speaks to your experience and your values, and then tell everyone about it, because you can't do much alone. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. My purpose is to use my words and creative skills as an animator and illustrator to inspire others to take positive action for social justice, the environment, and themselves. As you push to do more purposeful work, uh, you have to get comfortable taking rejection. Here are some rejection letters I received over an eight-year span. Most places don't even send these, and these are just the ones that I happen to keep, so there's way more rejection than this. Um, when you get rejected, evaluate what you can do to improve, and then decide whether that improvement is actually best for your path or not. Now I'll jump into some projects that I felt aligned well. Uh, Embracing Our Differences is a competition that takes 40 international artworks and poems and then blows them up to billboard size to celebrate diversity in all of its forms. Uh, here are my pieces from 2014, 2016, and 2021. Next, in the weeks following the deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, there was a swelling of support for the Black Lives Matter movement. I wanted to show the varying routes to that support, from the day one supporters, to the recently enlightened, to the starters and stoppers, I later decided to also animate the piece. My friend Mark, who is a better painter than I'll ever be, asked if I wanted to make that piece into a mural for a Paint the Void. Uh, despite the fact I hadn't physically painted in over a decade, I said yes. This is easily one of the hardest things I've done creatively in recent memory, but it was also one of the most rewarding. While I had this idea the moment I finished the first one, exactly a year later, during Pride Month, I made Rouse to Revolution 2 to speak to the diversity within the LGBTQ community and the importance of being an ally. I had no idea how many identity flags there were, so the entire process was super educational. Then, exactly a year after that, my friend Jeff suggested I submit to a diversity contest to get my work on a bus in Florida, and I won. Uh, apparently, and this is, this is crazy to me, apparently only three people applied to this amazing opportunity. So sometimes you don't have to be the greatest, you just have to put yourself out there and actually try. Now onto some of my animation work. During my time at the California Academy of Sciences, my primary role was to help with the design and animation of Flipside Science, a series that taught youth about sustainability. It also taught me, a grown man, about sustainability. Another great piece from my time there was Planet Vision. Uh, similarly, it gave great tips on how to help the planet on micro and macro levels. This was a huge effort from many departments at the museum. Uh, there was my animation, a website, a fiscal kiosk, and tons of other educational materials. More recently, during my time at ABC7 in San Francisco, I spoke to my boss about the work that I'd love to do. 
This led to me animating dozens of powerful videos, but two of my favorites were this one on Juneteenth and a collaboration I did with National Geographic on how to explain racism to kids. Perhaps our largest collaboration was with all eight owned ABC stations across the country for the Our America series. For this Hulu series, I was lead animator and slash designer for several videos discussing injustices faced by women and people of color. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. Uh, here you'll find my contact info. On the other side, there's some phrases that I Google to find opportunities. Uh, I do this about every three months. Um, my greatest tip is to add all these things to your calendar. Otherwise, you will definitely forget to apply. Um, thank you very much.